Centaur, Centaur War okay. Runner. A Lotus Centaur safe yeah. lane, yeah. Okay, you don't get to see this too often, but... I mean, Secret has fairly squishy heroes that require BKBs. Who, really, if he doesn't gank effectively, has nothing to fall back on without requiring a lot of space. They have a better zoning support here in the line, as well as that Bane, who are now making their way into the Niqua. And around Thades off, they've got very aggressive laners in the Queen of Pain, to some extent the Shadow Fiend, and it will be a first blood for Secret. Claimed at the top lane. Nice start here, but yeah, I mean, to me, I just feel like the big issue last game was just the Lions have decent catch, so they may be able to punish that. But for now, we see a little pressure on Darkeezy. That's a multiple shrapnels coming out. They do not have a point assassinate. They're committing all three. They're diving this one with Mad and Arteezy begging for backup. Gets it from S4, a one for one. Kuroki coming in, wants to make it a second. Aki turn to hit a creep. Oh no, they could follow this up with the Earth Spike. They will. Shadow Strike coming through and Secret quick to react. They get a two for one out of that and they get the sniper as well. And that's the thing about these. It's been. But I think after that last tower dive, Alliance are going to be a little more hesitant about making a go on him again. And there will be a call from Zai, but a hasted mad laying into this axe. Can he actually take him out 1v1? He does have Stampede. He's going to have another Void. He's only a level 3. Night Stalker will solo kill the axe. Very well played, but it comes at a big cost as S4 joins with Arteezy, and they turn it against Pai Katanake. Another 2 for 1. This, you're, all, you're always getting peeped, man. That's just the sniper life. All right, Alliance. Looking to make something happen. And so we're secret. So we're secret. They're going to find each other. Blake from Loda. He's not on the mark. Now Stampedes, though. Goes on to S4. This will be a big kill. Gets off the Queen of Pain. Old. Only hits a one. Pycat was slept. Doesn't really do a whole lot. But Arteezy looks to turn this around. And in comes Kuro from the rear. They brain down two. Again, the two for one special. This seems to be the secret way in game number two. And they get two cores that time. That's blinking. S4 gets both Sonic Wave and Scream off. And even though he does get killed ultimately, it's, it allows Arteezy to very quickly kill the, the Centaur who... Uh-oh. Trying to go in here. Aki, however, will be turned upon by S4. Looks like it will be a one-for-one -one assassinate coming out. Berserker's call. Not going to stop that. Style points for the call. <laughs> uh, it looks cute anyway, that's for sure. And you get a bit of a sound effect. Of this. Oh, load up. Wanted that rune, but that's the long cast animation, so it's it's a very easy counterplay for, for Secrets pull off. Oh, top lane, Niqua. This will be a big kill. Arteezy trapped down the cogs. He's going to turn and fight. He will have raises soon. He gets one. Will he have more? Double raise onto Pycat. Now with the Requiem, he'll bring him low. Almost Ooh. finishing him off. I think he got off the Death Requiem too, but not quite enough. This is still, still worth it for Alliance for sure if they get this deny on the tower. The reason why is... Uh, I think mostly because they were running a little bit more of dual lanes. We saw the Bane movie around a lot, and they just got so many kills on those cores who were ganking. There's at least two oh, of them. Mid lane puppy. In. Mystic Flare finally ready, and man, they bring him down. <laughs> Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Nicely claimed there by Alliance. Can they take anything more after this? Do they look to push a tower? Do we see them rotate for additional kills? I'm not sure. Well, the just rotation yet. will be happening, but it's not that easy right now, Kuro. Well, Hero is in a sandwich. He is. That's right. the kind of easy blink kill you're looking for. Well played by Loda. In and out. And it is nighttime now. This is where Alliance want to make something. Oh, oh Niqua going to reveal the smoke here from Secret. Now dropping the cogs. Trying to retreat. He is being gripped, but Loda comes Whoa, in. Two hero stop. Mystic Flare. Double edge. What an initiation, but not enough to get a single kill just yet. S4 kept alive. Looks like he will survive. Arteezy trying to turn this one out. Comes the void. Just barely bringing S4 down. Man, even with that initiation so far, just a one for one assassinate. Can't get Kuro. It looks like Arteezy will be trapped. Mech already used on the chase. Pycat laying into him. And one more auto attack. They'll get the kill. A two for one, but it looked like it could have been three or four. If they were just a little bit more even in this game, I think you see Zai die there as well as Kuroki send. That was the perfect blink stomp from Loda. He hit all three. I think he missed it. Clary even got Arteezy. Nicely He's landing done. these stomps. This is what he needs to do. He's doing a really good job. Little hesitant on the first stomp of the game, but ever since then, Loda finding his groove. Yep. The mark from Niqua. Takes a battle hunger. Cogs get deployed, but they get off the grip. Niqua trapped out. Reveal of the Orchid from S4. They get the kill cleanly. Secret, a tier one for a tier two, and they give up a kill. Or uh, rather, Alliance give up the kill, so overall Secret going to be very happy with that exchange. There is the first PKB. Oh, it's expiring fairly soon. He cast it quite a while ago, and it is not Natural Night right now. Yeah. It is not, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 20 minutes that the, the fifth night, or the whatever. Fourth night, I believe. Night starts. <laughs>
Let's not do the math. Wait, that load up, again. Load again. There's your BKB. Mystic Flare over the top onto Zyke. Can't kill him just yet, though. S4 getting silenced, but nobody focusing anyone down. Pycat, he needs to clean up here. Requiem comes out, but it's a triple for Pycat. It could be an ultra. One more auto attack. That's all he needs. Instantly, Zy back in. It's too late. Zy got him as well. And now a three hero call, but Cogs come in. Push Puppy back. Zy gets silenced. The chase onto him from Ake. Okay, can he finish him off? Low. It's a rampage. Pi get out of his mind of the chase further. They get an additional kill. It's a dieback as well on your ex. Or the pain, rather. Zero oh my. Five. That was. Our alliance is doing this game is to prevent Ax from blinking. That's got to be the number one. There's your stampede onto Puppy. Mystic Flare. See you later. Now a hook. Craps Arteezy and He does have the Requiem with the BKB. He turns against Sneakwa, brings him down. But it's a 10 second BKB charge. So it's overall a one for one with the Requiem now used. And Sonic Wave. And Sonic They blew a hell of a lot on the Clockwork, who is very poor, by the way. Tranquil Boots and uh, Staff of Wizardry. Uh, and with that BKB down, pretty good damage here. Top tower is under attack. Well, they're going to continue this push. Pycat working on the creeps. Everybody hanging back. But very hard to make your way against this Alliance draft with the vision that they bring to bear. They're going to try for it now. Or maybe not. Oh, Puppy gets caught out, almost loaded with the Shadow Blade. Blake, he's insta-hex. Kuro was ready for this. Turns with the stun. In comes the hook shot as well, but he ends up not really getting a whole lot accomplished. Now the Requiem turns this one, but Lodo's there. Good stun. Decent damage done in Pycat at full HP. They're not dealing with the Sniper, and if they don't kill him off soon, this is going to be trouble. Buyback on the Axe. Still Alliance being forced back bit by bit. They may lose Matt as well. So far, a 2 for 1. About to be a 2 for 2, and it will be. S4. Hunting for a bit more, and they most crucially lose their gem. Finally, Falling will be the Skyrath as well. So ends up being a two for three, but it does cost, and a gem going for Secret, but it does cost them that single buyback on the X. That was such a sick heads up play from Aki in that fight, by the way. It really has a big Im influence here when. Move here, perhaps. Alliance. You see that? Set? Oh, they get the stomp, but quick four staff backing off. Looking for a call, but Zai again instantly silenced. Can't get anything done here. Matchka was the one to precast it this time. A huge eruption of activity as Arteezy turns around with the Requiem lane. Now into Ake. It's a two for two exchange around the map. And Assassinate almost finishing him off. Not quite though. Matchka still standing strong in the front lines, but they sleep Pycat. Very powerful spell in these small skirmishes. Loda just a, a hair late there on the stomp. Can't get the kill. This is still a good fight for Alliance. They get the they, so they get, get a the core. Gem back. No. They get a core, they get Lion, and they trade Alliance to uh to win and it's it's really all about the axe like they shut him down every single fight i haven't seen zai have an impact apart from soaking up mystic flare well, they're gonna make a go and right. load up blink call to start it off Nikwa nice is jinx. waiting nearby there's a bkb stampede coming through as load up retreats the hell away pycat also running and try not to turn onto kuro can't quite finish him off secret continuing pursuit they get the second kill there on the clockwork Nice turn, and they just bought a new gem. I'm not sure if they actually lost Man, it Man, Lotus escape there, very important. Oh, gotta be careful. Rocket coming out, and two auto attacks, bam! See you later, there's an MKB ready to go, and... Uh-oh. Oh, this is trouble. Team Secret weren't quite ready for this push. Just five down mid, nothing fancy or clever about it. Now an assassinate on Zai, bringing him down to it. Oldie, two-thirds HP. They may even go in now, Blake. Stop. That's probably the death of Puppy as well. Two supports dead just like that, and they both buy back. Zai goes in with the Blink Call. He's off the mark, and Secret, with that Blink Call used up, they may struggle to hold their base. Okay, it looked like the goal the there with that TP. It was a very aggressive TP. It looked like the goal was to force a reaction and then get a Blink Call, but Zai didn't manage to grab the kill, or the call, rather. And that's a huge loss. It's two buybacks, and Alliance actually haven't even taken damage. Like they, they don't I think really you keep seem on going. Care. Yeah. The only thing they lack right now is the stampede. It seems that and the darkness. Tier 2 is in both side lanes, so Alliance won't be able to go to the next lane immediately. They have to push out lanes first, and one lane of Raxman at 40 is not the end of the world. It's the end of the world if they try to take the fight without buybacks, die, and just lose the game. And well, Pycat, they are going to take okay. the fight now. Jump in onto Pycat. He's alive for now. Has the Aegis, though. Comes back. Loda quickly dealing with Zai again on the backside. He's been gripped, but kept alive. Pycat, BKB, walks away. Now the turn. Silence on S4. Beautiful hook from Niqua. Then pushes Arteezy back. He might kill everyone. Arteezy low. He'll fall as well. They do figure him. Man, they almost didn't get him. Barely managing to hold the line, and now they clean up. Matchka on the way out. So too is Niqua. One down. That's another gem forfeited. A lot of buybacks expended here by Secret, but they hold. 
They do not keep the melee up, though, Sins. Yeah, so they still lost a the barracks. A pricey barracks. hold. Probably, I don't know, is that worth it? Oh, How many buybacks did they use for that? They used like four in total, it feels like. Or maybe not. He's changing his mind. They know this is this is the time when Alliance are at their weakest. They just use Darkness. It's daytime. And, and they try to make whoa. the move. Lona blinks into the grip. Puppy found him. Hook's there to cancel it, though. Everybody tried to retreat out. Crucially, the Sniper being forced Possibly back and surrounded. Pycat dropping quickly. He will get chopped off the start of the fight. They've lost their big damage dealer. They may have to run even now. Blake in from Lona. Screw that. He says, I've got a heart. I'm a beefcake. Runs right into Arteezy. Just gives him the chop. They're going to beat him down. And down goes our tour. They don't even need the sniper, it seems, although now he buys back and looks to slowly rejoin the fight. Zai gonna get caught out, trapped, and will end up oh. going down. That last auto attack gets him. That would have been such a sin. That is a dieback on the Bane. Well, actually, I think he died again after the buyback. So that's just yeah, a regular death died. on him. The axe is dead for 70 seconds. Your Shadow Fiend dead for 60. Alliance may try to push. That's such a big play from Nico. The hook shot on Puppy really determines that fight. In the beginning, it was it was already a pretty miracle grip. Like mid Blake Taker, Lota just gets caught as he lands. But no such miracle in the end, it seems. The centaur is really a big problem. Secret actually can't kill him. They have to just try to kite him and kill the others, but they won't have that luxury right now. Well, there's not many luxuries for Secret. They are desperately trying to hold on to the base, but there's a battering ram in the form of the centaur sniper duo. They're coming right in for the aggression, looking for Nikwa on the sidelines of the fight they initiate with the Lion. Oh, Loda whiffing the stomp there. Actually, got Kuroki. As he got pushed away, he brings him down with the club. Oh, Arteezy on the hunt here. This is a very big oh, kill. Oh, I don't know. Pycat. Can he get him, though? Blake Decker cooling down fairly soon. Pycat, though, could turn this around. Sin, and in the meanwhile, look who's just trying to take Rex. Loda also having a little fish. Now comes the rocket. It will catch Arteezy. And now Mad may want to hunt him. Turns. Void's there. Will they follow this up? It looks like no. In the end, uh, the axe will be allowed to respawn. And they do hold the line, but it cost them another buyback. This time, I feel... Or Manta, but I think Manta I think they terrible. need more physical damage. They have a lot of lockdown here, but I don't really feel like they need more disables. Oh, they're going to initiate. Loda gets caught. I don't know if that's the target you want. They hex him as well. Mad comes rushing in with the BKB. Grip quickly dealt with by Mad. Silencing Puppy. And now the chase is on. Diving towards Puppy. In the meanwhile, Queen of Pain goes in. Will bring down Nikwa, but they have not addressed the Pie Cat problem. He stays back. Zai blinking forward, trying to go on him. Kuro does have a finger. This BKB will wear off fairly soon. They might be able to get him. Where's that silence? Kuro tries to go in. Can't get the job done. Pie Cat kept alive. He will survive through it all. Five fall for Secret at Alliance. Have them now by the throat. I think this might actually be game. There's a it's minute and a half on two heroes on secret. The Alliance, no, no, all the buybacks are gone. The game's over. It just won. I, I think they just go throw it. Secret eliminated 2 0 in the lower bracket, are out of Star Ladder Season 12. They finish in the bottom two. A shocker here in Bucharest. While Alliance will move on with a breath of fresh.